made these parts thicker so they wouldn't break away as easy. And on this side I put a hole so I could pour it in and then a hole for the air to escape. I'm going to screw it down and see how it goes. I later discovered tapered sides and baby powder. It will help you remove these from the molds. Oh, 
overall not too bad. Uh, I think I'm going to get rid of the words. So here's the final configuration that I found to work pretty well. This whole pocket here is 3 8 deep and around the outside there's a little rim that's another 16th deep on top of that so 7 16 overall. These are 0.1 deep and I did it with a slightly tapered ball mill to give it a little bit of a tapered edge to allow the pewter to pull out easier. And I cut the gate in through the bottom so it sits upside down locked together and you fill it up and it's got enough room for the pewter to get down in and the air to come out. And this side these are also 0.1 deep. This whole thing sticks up a quarter of an inch and this also has a little rim around the outside. It's a sixteenth deep from the top. So when you pour it you have a little lip all the way around the outside of the coin to make it look more like a coin. And here's the final result. Now after I took these out of the mold, I cut off any extra with the bandsaw and sanded it smooth on the disc sander.